Welcome back everyone, thank you for joining me. We're at the listening post. It's a 5 out of 10 difficulty level. There are uh, quite a few wee, th wee sly things about this. Wasps are very useful, um, but you will need boom slugs as a recommendation from me. So what I've done, you can see my evolutions here using the available points that we have. Uh, I've maxed out the boom slug. I didn't take the influence as I, I didn't really have the points. Um, and I wanted to keep everything else. So we still have heavy end of the wasps into swarm capacity and uh, builders here so uh, yeah now you probably could use in our strategy involving you know titans warriors and whatnot but uh i want to try to only get builders there it didn't really work you can see any map that gives you starting buildings uh, it's going to be a lot of fun <laughs> without a doubt okay so builders spawning in here um that boom slug I'd have rathered, you know, <laughs> be, be, uh, having not spawned would have been nice. That's it. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five spawners. They will quickly overwhelm you if you don't take care of them pretty soon. Now, this one, this one, this one, and this one are pretty, they're, they're actually all accessible pretty much by wasps. Uh, so wasps are going to be an absolute, uh, backbone to what we're going to, uh, do here. Let's get that one there. Artillery piece and more. Okay. Uh, we've been allowed nutrient goo. Uh, and now we're going to get wasps. We'll amass the wasps up here. This is the closest spawner and therefore the one you should prioritize pretty quickly. Um, you, you will be able to get enough uh, wasps out with uh, all their upgrades to uh, take this out. Now, once that's done, wasps straight down there. We don't really care, we just want spawners. The spawners are the problem and in harder impossible difficulty, time is of the essence. Because each time these spawn, especially on impossible difficulty, you are going to be met with an awfully large force of enemies. Uh, now that we've had the luxury of taking them all out and our front line... Uh, we want to stabilize it, so probably best to send a, uh, a few units. Uh, we'll also want to get some Swarm Mothers uh, at the back here. Uh, on Impossible, you might need to prioritize them a wee bit more. Uh, but there's going to be no units coming from here. Uh, so once we thin all these out, uh, we'll have a good, good sizable force. Again, it comes down to trying to stop the spawns. Uh, so we need to get around and take this out ASAP. With the speed boost, that will be made a lot easier. Run them around this way. And run them into that spawner there. Okay. They've taken out that spawner. Nice. That worked out really well for us. Uh, with a few more swarm mothers out. Good job. Okay. Up the speed. Uh, dropships are going to be a problem uh, throughout this game. Uh, thankfully, uh, they didn't get off too many shots there. So, there we go. With three spawners down, so only these two to deal with. Uh, luckily, we can actually run our uh, our wasps straight through. But we will need more spore launchers. And our builders are going to prioritize getting them online. We'll also be pulling out some boom slugs. Uh, if they can close some of these gaps here, they will be, uh, <laughs> they'll be doing absolute work. That one spore artillery also doing quite, uh, quite well to thin them out. It's all about just thinning their numbers. Once we can take out this one command center, it's actually got 25 health. So someone's been hitting at this, this boy who's been hitting it. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, you could actually take out both of them. That would be absolutely ludicrous. Brilliant. And then the wee boom slugs. What, what can we say about them? See two of them just wiping things out. Okay, I'm going to swing all the tension down this way. We've held them back for a bit. Um, I, ju I just want all this uh, taken care of. I don't want to get builders down this direction. I want two hives here. Um, you could place artillery. It would be up to yourself. Uh, on what way you want to run it. I'll send everything over there except those. Builders also down here. 
Here we go. In fact, do you know what? We could just send the wasps. Uh, oh, we weren't spawning anything there. That explains where most of my units were going. There we go. Spawner's taken care of. Again, it's a very, very fast-paced map. Um, it's all about speed. There we go. Spawner's dead. Uh, that's really all, all we'll have to worry about. No more builders. Boom slugs and wasps. In fact, not even boom slugs. We can probably get more wasps out. Master, we hoard here. Things you just love to see. Three swarmers costing us not that much in nutrients, allowing us to spawn a few more waspies. This really got me uh, when I was playing uh, the older patch, but this one, there's a lot of upgrades, makes your buggos a wee bit stronger, so good luck on impossible difficulty in this, but uh, it's, it's definitely, it's doable. There we go, 5 minutes 47 seconds, not bad. Uh, next one appears to be the landing pad, catches all over there.